Welcome to another session of Euclidean Geometry. This is part 2. We continue with Circle Geometry Theorems and Questions. Watch very carefully. We come to important part of the circle geometry, especially for the metric learners. This is an important theorem. What is our theorem? The angle which an arc of a circle subtends at the center of a circle is twice the angle it subtends at the circumference. So angle oh, which is an arc. What is an arc? AB is an arc. This arc AB is subtending, making an angle at the center. What is that? AOB. The same arc is subtending another angle on the circle or on the circumference. That is ACB. Okay. So the theorem says angle AOB equal to 2 times angle ACB. Okay. That is the proof we have to make. So we have a construction here for this purpose. Join CO and produce to N or extend to N. Draw a dotted line. That is our construction. Then look at this triangle here. I am shading it for a clear illustration of the proof. Look at the triangle OAC. We have an exterior angle. We make use of this exterior angle here. O1 is an exterior angle of the triangle. What we have learned in the junior class, this exterior angle will be equal to the sum of the interior opposite angle. That is C1 plus A. Interior opposite angle. Okay. Here is the interior angle, but we want the interior opposite angle. So O1 is equal to C1 plus A. That is our first step. What is the reason? Exterior angle of triangle OAC. Again, we notice that OA is a radius. OC is another radius. They are equal. If these two sides are equal, this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So the angle opposite, that is C1 and A, are also going to be equal. Reason. What is the reason? radii OA equal to OC equal to radii. So we get O1 equal to C1 plus A but C1 is A. So in the place of A we are going to use another C1 making C1 plus C1 which is 2C1. Okay. Now we use a word similarly. Similarly we go to the next triangle here. What we can write? Here we got O1 equal to 2C1. Now we can write O2 is equal to 2C2. We don't need to write or repeat the steps again. We use the word similarly. Now we continue. We add O1 and O2. O1 plus O2 is now 2C1 plus 2C2. Or 2 is common. We can write 2 times C1 plus C2. Then what is our O1 plus O2? What is O1 plus O2? It is AOB. What is C1 plus C2? ACB. Okay. So we complete the proof. Very important. Don't forget you write down the proof a few more times yourself and master it. Another theorem, simple theorem, angle subtended by the Diameter, look at the diameter AOB. Diameter AOB is subtending an angle at the circumference. The theorem says that angle subtended by the diameter is 90 degree or the angle is a right angle. So, simple idea here. We know the angle at the center. How much is that? Angle on a straight line, 180. If this is 180, angle at the circle is half of 180. Okay, so what is that? It is 90 degree. So that is simple proof. You must know these because we are going to use them in the riders. So <clears throat> we write the theorem and the proof here. Okay. 
Another small theorem, an arc or code. What is an arc? Look at the arc. AB is an arc. Arc or code. Where is this code? Look at the code here. It can be an arc. This is an arc. Or code, AB. Look at this one. AB is a code. Okay. So arc or code subtends equal angles. Look at the arc subtending angle at C, another angle at D. The theorem says these two angles are equal. Okay. So they are on the circumference. Those two angles are on the circumference. So we know that this angle AOB is two times angle C. AOB is again two times angle D. Look at that. Therefore, angle C must be equal to angle D. That's the proof, simple proof. <coughs> so we write the given information, then required to prove angle C equal to angle D. A proof, join OA and OB. In dotted lines, we have seen angle AOB equal to 2C. We know that reason angle at center equal to 2 times angle at circumference. Again, AOB is 2D. Okay? Same reason. Therefore, angle C equal to angle D. Another information. Equal codes subtend equal angles. Look at the codes here. They are equal. You can see the notation there. They are equal. If the two codes are equal, the angles and it, they lie in the same circle. Equal codes subtend equal angles. So these two angles subtended by these equal codes are equal. Very good information. We are going to make use of all these in the coming questions. Cyclic quadrilaterals. What's a quadrilateral? A shape of four sides is known as cyclic quadrilateral. You can see A, B, C and D are the vertices and all the four vertices lie on the circumference of a circle. Then we call this as a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. Now we have to look at the theorem on cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. What are the opposite angles here? Look at the opposite angles. Angle D and angle B are opposite. Supplementary meaning this, the sum of these two angles must be 180 degree. Or angle A and angle C are opposite angles. They must also be supplementary. Angle A plus angle C must be equal to 108. So that is the theorem. Now we prove it. Given ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral because all the vertices lie on the circumference. Required to prove angle D plus angle B equal to 180 degrees. We draw a construction. What is our construction? Join AO and OC. Now, when we look at that center, O1 is an angle at the center. Okay, what is O1? O1 must be two times angle D. Reason angle at center is two times angle at circumference. Okay, now what about O2? Look at O2. O2 must be two times angle B. Same reason. Okay. And then we add both. O1 plus O2 is 2D plus 2B or equal to two times D plus B. But what is O1 plus O2? Angle around a point. Angle around a point is 360 degrees. So we use that idea in this proof. So we get O1 plus O2. O2 is 360. What is O1 plus O2? 2 times D plus B is 360. Divide both sides by 2. We get D plus B equal to 180 
80. That is the proof. Okay. So for grade 11, it is an important theorem. Make sure that you learn it properly. Easy questions. Okay. Now we move on to another theorem. The exterior angle of a cyclic. Look at the exterior angle. Okay. That is outside the quadrilateral. Exterior angle is equal to equal to the interior opposite angle. That is interior here. This is interior. Interior opposite. Look at the opposite angle. Okay. Interior opposite angle. So meaning C1 is equal to angle A. That is what we have to prove. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral symbol theorems. Prove C1 equal to A. Okay. Now we find that C2 plus A, we know that it is 180. Opposite angles are supplementary. Then again, C1 plus C2 is also 180 angles on a straight line. So what do we see here? C2 plus A is 180. C2 plus C1 is 180. Therefore, we can see that A must be equal to C1. Therefore, we can conclude angle C1 is equal to angle A. Exterior angle equal to interior opposite angle. Okay. Symbol proof. You must know that we are going to use them in many, many questions. Okay. Then Calculate the value of the unknown angles. What are the unknown angles here? X, Y and Z. Of course, angle X is in the triangle ABC. And we have already two angles available, 80 and 68. So angle X is 180 minus of 80 plus 68 giving us 32 sum of the angles of triangle let's go to angle y angle y is the opposite angle of 80 degree so angle y is 180 minus 80 that is 100 lastly that is 100 now angle z is in this triangle adc so the third angle Angle is 180 minus 154, which gives us 26 degrees. A small question. We have another information. What is that? Tangents are perpendicular to the radius, or radius will be perpendicular to the tangent. So when you see the diagram like this, you must know that this angle is 90 degrees. Simple as that. Okay. Yeah. And here is the information again okay so that is the end of part two you must watch all the videos in the channel before you write the exam okay good luck